Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Linda Tay coming to you today with another video with another pregnancy update. So this week I am officially 33 weeks pregnant. Oh my god, guys, it feels like time is going by so fast now. Um, the second trimester to me was like the longest, and the first trimester was the hardest to get across, in my opinion. So, I'm going to update you guys what's been going on with me and baby boy. And if you guys are interested in knowing what's going on in your 33 week of pregnancy, then continue watching. Um, also, since I've reached 33 weeks and I'm almost to the point where I'm getting weekly appointments, I'm going to update you guys weekly until I give birth. I have a good feeling that he's going to come early, just not without, not with being induced. But just because, just a little inkling I got. I feel like it's going to come like a week or two early. So I might not reach 40 weeks. I may reach 38 or 39 weeks. So yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into the video. Okay guys, so, so currently I'm 33 weeks pregnant. When I went to the doctor, I was 32 weeks pregnant. When I go back to the doctor next Tuesday, I'll be 34 weeks pregnant. So, so far, so they did an anatomy scan for the 32 weeks. Like I said, if you seen the 20 week update video and my anatomy scan, they told me that they seen two things that were a little off in the anatomy. And I was gonna make a whole video about that, but I decided not to just for the simple fact that I didn't want it to give it that much energy. Um, I didn't want to bring that much attention to it in hopes that it cleared itself up, which is pretty much what happened. So what two things that they seen on his, on the ultrasound was, the fact that he had um, calcium, a calcium deposit in his heart. And the long word for that is going to be in um, down below. A lot of times that's a soft marker for Down syndrome or a genetic disorder. And also he had enlarged kidneys, which could have been something from me not drinking enough water. Or it could have been a situation where he had something wrong with his kidneys. Or it also could have been a situation he just had to go to the bathroom. So what ended up going on when it comes to that, when they gave me the ultrasound, they checked all of those things and they see that one kidney was completely resolved and the other kidney had a little, little, little tiny bit of the dilation left. So she stated that I was pretty much clear and that it would pretty much be clear by the time I give birth, if not sooner than that. So um, that kidney part is cleared up. Um, also, when it comes to the heart, um, it wasn't alternating his heart beat or anything like that or changing how his heart functioned. Um, also, calcium deposits, uh, a lot of times your body absorbs those, especially when it comes to developing children. When I got the ultrasound, they'd still seen it, but they said that it wasn't making it a big deal because um, they were just sure that he would probably absorb that um, into his body at some point, whether during pregnancy or during his first year of life, that, that he would basically absorb it back into his body because it was just calcium. I'm not high risk or anything like that. There's just two things that they've seen. Now, when they see things like that, like I said, it could be like a genetic a marker, a soft marker for like a genetic problem. But at 14 weeks, I got my genetic testing done and everything was basically clear, so they did not mark me high risk. Now, if they seen that on my anatomy scan and I did not have my genetic test done, then they would've gave me a genetic test and seen what was going on when it came to that. But since I already got it done and it was clear, they just assumed that it was just something that happened in my, you know, in my pregnancy and that it will be clear. Um, another thing they tested me for is coleostasis. And basically, coleostasis is where you're a lot of times pregnant, pregnant women get it, and it's from excess hormones from pre being pregnant. Um, and it's basically where your bladder, not your bladder, I'm sorry, it's basically where your liver produces too much bowel. And it can be very toxic to the unborn child. It's really not toxic to the woman, but it can be toxic to the unborn child if left untreated. And I know that you would have to take like medicine like two or three times a day until you give birth. And they also would induce you. So, and the reason why they tested me for that was because I was complaining to them about itching. And I know itching skin is very common and things like that, but um, especially during pregnancy, especially since you're gaining weight. But my, I felt like mine was severe and it was ongoing. It didn't matter if I put lotion on or not. I feel like I was still itching. And it wasn't like itching on my stomach. It was like itching on my hands, my stomach, my knees, my my back. My, it just it itched everywhere. So I asked her about it and she tested me for it. Took me about, took me, it took about a day to get one, one half the result back. 
and it took like another two days to get the other half result back. Um, and then they called me um, that next day and then they told me that everything was fine, everything looked fine, that nothing was elevated. It seemed a little slight elevation in something, but it was so mild and that it really didn't matter. So I don't have coleostasis, thank God. So I don't really have any complications during my pregnancy, which I'm so happy about. Um, I made sure that every day I will say that I'm healthy, that I'm having a healthy pregnancy, that everything's gonna go well. And I'm not saying that, you know, that is why, but I'm saying that is why. I really believe in power of the tongue. I really believe in things that you say and manifesting what you want in your life. And I'm really big on that. And I'm really big on things that you, like I said, things that you say. So I spoke that my early pregnancy since, since the beginning of my pregnancy. And I pretty much had no issues during my pregnancy. The only thing that I do have is anemia. And I've had anemia before I even got pregnant. Um, I don't take my iron pills the way I need to. I, I should, I know, um, but I don't take them the way I need to. I do eat iron salad, spinach, and things like that. I do incorporate iron into my diet, so I pretty much try to get it the natural way instead of getting the supplemental way. So another thing that they said in the anatomy scan is that he is head down. So that is a great thing, which is probably why I feel a lot of pressure down below when I walk and a lot of pressure on my bladder when he moves because he is um, head down. Also, he is head down um, and he is his head is super, super far. Super far down. She said that his head is in between my hips. He's very, very low. Um, I hope that's a good thing that when it comes time to, you know, deliver him, that it's an easy, quick labor and I'll be able to push him on out, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. Um, I'm trying to also manifest that I have a great, cool delivery that is vaginal, that is quick. I'm going to try to stick it out as long as I can without medicine. Um, however, you know, if I need it, I'm not in denial with it. I'm not too good for it. I don't mind, you know, taking medicine for uh, labor. They did weigh him and they stated that he weighs three pounds and eight ounces. That was last week. And they he's expected to gain a half a pound a week. So I'm sure he's probably almost four pounds, if not four pounds by now. And by the time I go to um, my next appointment next week, he'll probably be four and a half pounds or something like that. They also stated when they measured him and things like that, that I'm still measuring a week, in, a week ahead. So, like I said, hopefully I'm 33 weeks now. Hopefully I'm measuring, you know, measuring 34 weeks or whatever the case may be. And that way I have them a little early. You know, nothing significant, but a little early will be fine with me. At 31 weeks, I did have a 3 3D, 3D, 4D scan. And I will include that in this next clip. He cooperated pretty well, but he was falling asleep and yawning. I tried to eat something, but I think I ate something and he was still like half asleep. So he was active for a little while and then he fell asleep during the appointment. So um, we, after a while, we stopped getting good pictures and good video, which is good timing because we only had a couple minutes left anyway. But he does have my lips and he does have my nose. Um, I can't tell what else he has, but I know right here, it looks like me, okay? So, I'm very, very excited to see him. They did see hair on his head. They didn't see a lot, um, but she couldn't really get good, you know, good headshot anywhere on it. But she did see some hair. So, I'm excited about that part. I'm trying to figure out what else I need to update you guys on. Um, I'm having low back pain. I'm having a lot of pressure down below. Um, I am nauseous. I've been nauseous for the last few days. It's not all day or anything like that. It's just um a, few, a couple hours every day. But what I'm doing is I'm drinking tea. I'm drinking lemon ginger tea. Um, and when I drink that, it really does settle my stomach and it definitely cures my, my nausea and everything like that. Uh, I still have heartburn and indigestion. And what I do for that is I just literally lick my finger Stick it in the baking, baking soda that's in the refrigerator and lick my finger again and don't drink anything for about 15 minutes and let that break apart all, this, all the um, acid or whatnot. And it works better than Tom's. It works quicker than Tom's. Um, it, it is like the best thing ever and it's natural. So you can't go wrong with that. It's not gonna impact the baby or anything like that. So that is another thing. 
Now, as far as like getting my child vaccinated, I'm so like in between when it comes to that because I hear so many bad stories about vaccinations and everything. However, so I didn't, I refused the Tdap shot that they asked me to get. The whooping cough vaccine, I did refuse that. However, I, I got the flu shot a week ago at my appointment. Um, and it does not have a lot of virus in it, but it's supposed to develop antibodies um, in about two weeks, she said it, for the flu virus. Um, especially since I'm going to have my child during flu, flu season. So I really thought about it. I really thought long and hard about it. Um, and then I decided to get it. Um, I was freaking out when I got it because, like I said, I'm not really into vaccines and things like that. I'm really kind of scary about stuff like that. I got it. It burned like crazy. It burned like crazy, y'all. It really did. It burned like crazy. And um, But after that, I was fine. I haven't been sick. I haven't been sniffing. I haven't had a cold or anything like that. Um, I'm trying to think what else that I need to tell you guys. Oh, I've gained so far 22 pounds. 22 and a half pounds. Um, or 24 pounds or something. I, th I think I gained, yeah, I gained 23 and a half pounds. Um, this whole eight months of pregnancy. She says that I'm expected to gain like a, a, a pound a week and he's gonna gain a half a pound a week. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna gain about 10 more pounds, uh, which I'm not really too happy about, but it is what it is, you know. It'll be about 30 pounds, 32 pounds, and most of it, you know, will be from the baby and then I'll lose most of it after the baby. So I'm not so much worried about that when it comes to the weight part. Also, I've, I've been struggling the last few nights when it comes to sleep. I've been having crazy pregnancy insomnia, like so crazy, y'all. Like I have not been able to go to sleep. Well, um, I toss and I turn. When I lay, lay on my left side, he kicks me on my left side. When I lay on my right side, he kicks me on my right side. And the only time he doesn't kick me is when I'm on my back. So I've been going to sleep on my back, not flat on my back, but I've been going to sleep elevated on my back because it just seems like that's the only time he doesn't like kick and complain that's what I think he's doing is like complaining like girl move I don't want to lay like this so I was sleeping on my back and then once I do that he kicks the whole time um he doesn't really kick he like like he doesn't kick he like rolls rolls in my stomach and he starts that early like he starts at about 7 p.m and he does that the rest of the night today he's been pretty chill um, I've been feeling it here and there but he's been pretty chill but yeah, he moves a lot. They told me after 28 weeks to start counting him move 10 moves an hour. Well, 10 moves every two hours. But I definitely feel like he moves way more. Way more than that. Um, he probably moves about... He probably moves about 20 times an hour when he's in his groove. Um, you know, he, he, he when he's in his moving groove, he is moving, okay? Moving um, all the time. And it's... Honestly, it, it's, it's getting to the point where... I'm, it's stressful because I can't relax when I want to relax because he's moving the whole entire time. Um, so people are trying to tell me to get my sleep and I'm just like, how do you get sleep with this big and pregnant? Like, I don't know how that is even freaking possible to even get sleep. Like, uh -uh. so I heard it's going to get worse as I get bigger. So I'm just like, if I don't have no sleep now, I'm just going to chuck sleep up as a loss because once he's here, I'm not going to be able to sleep probably. And then when I get bigger, I'm not going to be able to sleep. So, so that's that. I packed my hospital bag. If you guys want to know what I have in my hospital bag, I will do a video on that. And I did order maternity clothes um, a couple weeks ago. And I know it's late in the game but since we're switching seasons and things like that um i decided to just go ahead and just get some maternity clothes to make myself feel cute and make myself feel pretty because i'm just getting to the point where everything is just looking ugly okay like my boobs are just looking ugly and just discolored and i'm getting acne on my chest and acne on my boobs and and i'm just and i'm gaining gaining i'm gaining 20 pounds and I'm just not really feeling my best, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I like to, I'm, I'm glad that I do YouTube because it gives me a chance to dress up and do my hair and do my makeup and feel pretty and feel myself again because pregnancy can definitely play a part on your self-esteem, you know what I'm saying? And um, I'm glad that 
some, you know, I'm able to like force myself to get dressed up sometimes and look pretty, you know. I'll probably just go ahead and do a belly shot since I'm right here. So yeah, this is how my belly looks at eight months prego. He is pretty, pretty big. Okay guys, so that is my belly update and that's what's been going on with me. I'm sorry if I don't have much excitement in this video. Um, I'm tired most days um, now and I have a lot of things going on. I um, have a baby shower this weekend and then I'm getting a new car next week and I'm trying to get prepared for this baby and I'm trying to exercise and eat healthy and just trying to get everything done before he gets here. We're decorating this apartment, trying to make it more homey and things like that. So I feel like I have a lot of things going on all the time, especially lately. So I'm sorry if I'm not in the best, like, you know, active mood and, and things like that. But I'm just trying to take it one day at a time. Um, filming is getting a little harder and so is being pregnant. It's getting a little harder and I'm getting a lot more irritated and a lot more irritable during the countdown phase. Um, right now I feel fine today, I feel fine. I'm gonna have pretty okay energy today, but a lot of times I'm just exhausted and I'm tired or I'm, you know, I'm, I'm emotional or something like that. So I'm not really in the best spirit sometimes and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because it happens to everybody, it happens to the best of people. Um, I do meditate though, and I, well at least I try to, and then I listen to positive things every day. Um, and then I play like little games on my phone to kind of get my mind off of birth and just everything like that. Um, tomorrow my nail tech comes to my house, she's going to do my nails and my toes for the baby shower, and I'm going to do my hair for the baby shower of course, so yes guys, I'm actually excited about the baby shower, I'm a little nervous. Um, I don't like attention on me like that, so I am a little nervous when it comes to the baby shower part, but you know, it is what it is. The baby shower is going to be my family and friends here, and I'm excited about that. So, I'm really trying to think, is there anything else that I forgot? Oh, when I record my next video, I'm going to um, go to my appointment, and then I'll probably record it that day or the next day. It's on a Tuesday, so I'll be recording my update video sometime after that. And let you guys know what they said and if they did like a survey check or anything to see if I'm dilated or something like that so I'm really ready to meet my kid yes guys so that is all that is the update that is the tea of what's going on and I will talk to you guys next week in my next pregnancy update bye guys